Hi, Kim West, the Sleep Lady, and in today's video blog, I'm going to answer this mom's question. Michelle wrote in, my child is one years old and still does not sleep through the night. I've tried different routines and nothing changes his bedtime, which is around 8.30 or 9, and he doesn't have too much trouble falling asleep, but he'll wake up around 1 or 2 and then every two hours afterwards. He doesn't fully wake up, he just starts whimpering. I'll give him a bottle if he goes too long and he'll take it and fall asleep. Other times I'll wait it out and he'll stop and go to sleep. He does have a milk allergy and he drinks Similac Alimentum and he was diagnosed with reflux. But I'm not sure whether he was by your what you wrote, whether he was diagnosed at 10 months old or it ended at 10 months old. So um I'm just gonna make some assumptions here. Uh, so I would talk to your doctor about the nighttime feedings and see if your doctor and you think that your child needs to receive those calories during the night. Uh, because if your child does not and they're eating well during the day uh, with a reflux history, either present and being treated or in the only as a history and is resolved, I, it's still better not to drink a liquid and lay down. Okay, um, because it could possibly be causing more wakings later um, from the burning in his throat. And they, they do say that uh, when we as adults have reflux, we wake up in the morning refluxing even when we haven't eaten. So again, great discussion to have with your pediatrician um, so that you can feel comfortable knowing that your one-year-old um, either does or does not need to eat during the night and then you can respond consistently. I would also want to make sure that some of the whimpering sounds are not actually um, sounds of discomfort from refluxing at night. It may not be, but again, worth having a discussion because I don't know whether it's result was resolved at 10 months or whether he was newly diagnosed at 10 months. Okay, so those are things to work on. The other thing is that I want you to look at the typical schedule and sleep needs for a one-year-old. They need about, I believe it's 11 and a quarter hours of sleep at night and two hours of sleep over the course of two naps, around 15 to 18 months, he'll go down to one nap, but for now he needs two naps. Um, and usually bedtime is much earlier than 8.30 to nine. So you may be missing his bedtime routine. Usually it's around seven, 7.30 when, you know, especially because he's not sleeping through the night, it could potentially go to 7.30 uh, later, but, but not yet. For sure, nine o'clock, 8.39 is on the late side, so you might be missing that window, which is causing more night wakenings and early rising. So look for that window, um, more around 7, 7.30, and then start on a day where he's well napped and put him down awake at that 7, 7.30, hopefully do the sleep lady shuffle where you can sort of gently teach him how and encourage him um, to uh, learn how to put himself to sleep and you slowly move out of the room. And again, I don't know what's happening with naps, uh, but the you know naps would have to be addressed. And then um, I think I already addressed, but again, as a reminder to create that nighttime weaning plan with the support of your pediatrician. And, in, and I would say in seven to 10, maybe 14 uh, nights because of the medical issues and his age, uh, he should be sleeping through the night. 